Hi, SCSA family, and welcome back. My name is Nicole. And my name is Natalie. Last episode, we talked about Zachariah and Elizabeth. Today, we're going to be reading Luke 1, 26 to 38. On the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and having come in, the angel said to her, Rejoice, highly favored one, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. But when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and considered what manner of greeting this was. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Highest, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Then Mary said to the, said to the angel, How can this be, since I do not know a man? And the angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the highest will overshadow you. Therefore also that Holy One who is to be born will be called the Son of God. Now indeed, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is now the sixth month for her who was called barren. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold the maidservant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Now that we finished reading the Bible, let's see what we learned. Well, one thing that I learned is that being humble and keeping your relationship with God your top priority, God will reward you in so many ways, just as we saw in St. Mary's life. But remember, don't only do good things just for God's rewards. Do it for yourself. As we saw in the reading, we should always be praising St. Virgin Mary. One verse that I really liked was Luke 137. For with God, nothing will be impossible. Well, that's what we thought about this passage. We can't wait to hear what you thought about it. Thank you for watching. See you next episode.